Hi, I'm Sarah, founding and managing attorney at Nilsson Law, PLLC. I'm also a pilot and a law professor. Welcome to the More You Know, a series of short videos I created to share some law that you may find useful someday, if not right now. Today's topic, Drone Law for Kids. But first, my legal disclaimer. The information I'm about to share is provided for educational and informational purposes only. It does not constitute legal advice. This is not an offer to represent you, nor is it intended to create an attorney-client relationship. Below the YouTube video, you will see all the links I have shared. All links are provided solely for your convenience and do not represent any endorsement, advertisement or sponsorship of linked sites or any products or services offered. Today's topic will begin with the recreational regulations on the FAA's website. A drone is also called an unmanned aircraft system by the FAA, who governs such aircraft. The FAA creates regulations to make the national airspace system in which you fly safe and efficient. If you are flying your drone for fun, as a hobby or recreationally, then you need to be aware of these rules found on this page. Some of them include flying your drone at or below 400 feet above ground, keeping your drone within visual line of sight, and giving way to and not interfering with manned aircraft. But first, you need to register your drone on this website, and if you are under the age of 13, a parent or guardian must register it for you. Second, mark it on the outside with this registration number that they give you and keep proof of registration on you. If you are flying a drone, that makes you a pilot. As a pilot, you need to understand the airspace in which you are flying. You definitely need to look at this, very important. You need to understand Lance and download an app for your mobile device. There are many to choose from. That way you can always know whether it is legal to fly and if not, whether you can apply for a waiver. There are places where you should never fly, such as around wildfires, over stadiums and sporting events, near airports and so on. It is a federal crime, punishable by up to 12 months in prison, to interfere with firefighting efforts on public lands. Congress has authorized the FAA to impose a civil penalty of up to $20,000 against any drone pilot who interferes with wildfire suppression, law enforcement, or emergency response operations. In addition to the FAA regulations that I just showed you, most states in the United States have enacted their own laws for drones. For example, in Arizona, where I'm at, you cannot fly your drone in a careless or reckless manner. You cannot fly your drone under the influence of alcohol or drugs. And you cannot fly near critical facilities like prisons, for example, and interfere with first responders, such as firefighters, police, and so forth. For parents, a parent or guardian of a minor who commits a tort, torts are civil wrongs, using a drone may be liable for up to $10,000 in Arizona. Lastly, a drone is an aircraft, and it is a federal crime to shoot at or destroy an aircraft. Under Title 18 of the U.S. Code, Section 32, sabotage to include destruction of an in any aircraft carries a maximum prison sentence of 20 years. Thank you for watching The More You Know, Drone Law for Kids.